What's going on, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here with a brand new event video, this time for the Toy Story event. Now, Toy Story event is a returning event from those of us who played in the beta. We're familiar with it, but they did change a little bit. Uh, it's going back to like all of the events we've seen so far, where there are uh, chests specific for the event that have an arbitrary amount of character shards, and that becomes the goal towards unlocking, as well as getting some set number of shards as you complete each storyline and move on to the next node. So the Toy Story event uh, is the only way right now in the game to unlock Woody, Jesse, and Bo Peep. Bo Peep being the chase or special character of this event, uh, almost the leader of the entire team, but they are overall a fun team. Uh, we'll go into it. We're going to go through the event itself. We're going to talk a little bit about the characters and kind of review what they do, and then we're going to talk about what you would use this team for, how important they may be, and whether or not they're worth your time. Spoiler alert a little bit, they're not game changing, but they are absolutely fun and they lead you into Zerg. So Zerg's a pretty fun character overall too, especially if you end up getting him for your main team. He kind of fits very well in this team anyway. But going straight into the event, we have the first part. As you're familiar with by now, the first event gives you the character you need to progress in the second event, which gives you the characters you need to progress in the main event. So no strings attached. The strange flex on this is that you require Buzz Lightyear. The good news is uh, you get in with the Buzz Lightyear you got for free to begin the game. One star will allow you to fight in this fight. You only get uh, one Woody shard per attempt. Now obviously you get some number of Woody shards for completing it the first time, but ultimately this is the starting point and you wanna get further past this. So if you do have a two or three star Buzz, you're going to be in a really good shape. The goal for anybody going into this event going forward is to make sure that the starting character buzz gets to about three star without worrying too much. And that's not unrealistic considering that it's not easy to farm all of the kingdom hero characters in the early game, especially if you're splitting your farms between the heroes and the villains as you kind of daisy chain between the heroes and villain campaigns. So. It's important to note that as I tell people like, hey, of the starting characters, Buzz is one of the ones I would invest in, not necessarily because he's one of the best endgame characters in the game, but because he is necessary for this event and overall a pretty decent character, as well as good on this team. So if you can end up with a three star Buzz, the good news is you get to progress all the way up here. So you get four different nodes. Um, the recommendations aren't the same as the requirements, so as long as you have a any team of characters, they don't need to be heroes, just any team of characters, as long as Buzz is also a three-star character, you can progress on this event. Once you get to about here, uh, no strings attached for, you're getting between one and four Woody Shards a clear. You've definitely unlocked him at this point. Uh, you're probably pushing towards the two-star Woody around this time, which is great. It's a total of 25 total shards. He unlocks at 10. You'll be okay. And you're getting a decent chunk of random gear to help work them up for the next parts of the campaign. All in all, this is the goal I would set for anybody. Um, the first pass, the obviously the better you can do, the more you can do, the better off you'll be. But you should probably try to get to the three star event on the first one just to set up so you can get some attempts in at the final stage. And we'll see more as we go in to the next stage. Playtime's over is the availability of Jesse. Uh, also, just a quick thought, every single one of these comes with a increasingly better spell. Uh, the Woody event comes with the Duke Kaboom spell. Duke Kaboom is an incredibly fun spell and very good in PvE in the early game because of how much damage early game spells tend to do compared to end game. It kind of falls off, but the good news is the second spell you get, Bucket of Soldiers, is one of the better spells in the game and will carry you even at its base level for a long time. So. Every character kind of helps you progress towards the next character, but they also help you unlock the spells, and these spells are very, very good. Looking into playtime's over, kind of the same thing. This one requires Buzz and Woody. If you already have a three-star Buzz, you're now just kind of working on getting to a three-star Woody, which will get you up to playtime's over three. And as you're familiar with it, the number of shards drop 
per is relatively low, even when it says one or two, one to three, it's still usually just one, and there is a limit to the number you can get. Uh, the limit, I'm not a huge fan of, but I understand the idea that you're supposed to be progressing and it's going to reward people who progress during the campaign or in preparation for the campaign than someone who just continuously clicks auto on the first node. You do still get the smaller rewards for completing them when the characters are removed. It doesn't feel great, but uh, as with the previous one, you should easily be able to get to no questions asked the second star level uh, within a day or two of the event start and you'll be able to get a pretty decent chunk of jesse now if i recall correctly jesse unlocks at 25 total character shards making her a two star unlock so you shouldn't have too much of an issue getting there but you are still again striving for the three star team and we'll see why as we go into the next stage but most importantly i believe you unlock bucket of soldiers right around here anyway so you want to make sure you take whatever the path you can to unlock bucket of soldiers as quickly as possible if you end this campaign without necessarily unlocking bo peep but getting bucket of soldiers and duke kaboom you can consider yourself a success if you unlock this campaign with seven star everything more successful you know what i mean but overall no crazy tricks in this fight just get the characters to gear tier three the recommendations are exactly on point if you are one level higher or one gear tier higher on on a couple of characters you're going to run over these events so just pay a little bit of attention these are recommendations these aren't requirements the only requirements are number of characters and the number of stars on them i wouldn't worry too much about the fights you don't even have to three star them just beat them and you'll be okay going into the final fight or the bow peep unlock you have let's be friends uh, kind of the same thing, only this one starts at two star. The reason it starts at two star is because Jesse unlocks at two star, and you require Buzz, Woody, and Jesse. You know how this goes. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. The difference between this and the other ones is you do not get guaranteed Bo Peep shards uh, until you, you know, clear it for the first time. You'll get some number, but more importantly, you unlock the Toy Story coin chests. Now, the Toy Story coin chests give you a chance at Buzz, Woody, and Jesse shards between one and three, and between one and ten Bo Peep shards. You familiar with it? You've seen the other events. I like these events. I like the fact that these orbs help you progress a little bit. I like the fact that you can't necessarily uh, miss out by a little. You can get very lucky and unlock a character early, but as long as you're still progressing, you are going to see the results. So overall, it's great. I again double down on the idea that getting to three star is important because getting to three star at least gives you a chance uh, of coming close to unlocking Bo Peep just based on the numbers of how many of these total you get to open. So this is a total of six chests, which will give you about 60 Bo Peep shards in a really good scenario, plus whatever you get for clearing it. Obviously, the better you can do. I wouldn't worry too much about unlocking Bo Peep this pass unless you plan on spending a little bit of money or buying a pack or you know however that works out bo peep is the most important part of the team and she just recently underwent a slight rework allowing her to actually taunt on turn one to be the tank of the team the team is okay without her but it, it's kind of incomplete almost like uh, peanut butter and jelly on a wrap instead of a sandwich you, Sure, it's the same ingredients technically, but it just feels a little off. Uh, other than that, you can see that I'm probably going to try to shove up a little bit higher on this event, or I might decide it's time to push even further. But as long as you can get to three on the first pass, you should probably feel proud of yourself and always keep in the back of your mind. This kind of event will come back. It is seasonal, so it comes back every three months or so. So... As long as you know if you have some downtime or extra resources for some reason or other because you're winning so much because you're following my other videos and you're doing the right thing as opposed to following bad videos like working on Onward characters early. <sighs> well, you know. So that's the overall on the event. Uh, now I'm going to go over not only the characters but some of the spells kind of give you a little bit of an idea of how good they're going to be and where you would use them overall. 